Summer is here, everybody, and it's time to bring the cats to the beach. Yes, because the cats love the beach just like you do. The problem is the toilets. Most beaches does not provide cat toilets. That's why I have decided to make my own beach cat toilet. Remember my all-time favorite cat toilet? Well, watch it again to learn how to make this box. Only now I have six holes on all four sides. Then I paint it up in cheerful summer colors. Okay, finished. Look, I got the beach, I got the waves coming in, I got the blue ocean and a clear blue sky with fluffy clouds. Then I've made some toilet signs. This time the cats have invited some friends that need the toilet as well. The shrimp, Hello. crab, fish, seagull, starfish of course, and of course one for the cats themselves. Now let's stick them up. They all need to go to the loo. Okay, we are ready for the beach. Let's go. Ah, the beach. On with the sunglasses, my sun hat. Now we need to fill it with sand. Now where do I find sand around here? Oh, right, okay. And now for some cozy beach fun for my cats. Hey, oh, beach towel, nice big beach towel, some juice, muffins, 
And of course, we need a Norwegian seagull. Volleyball! <laughs> and now I have a special surprise for my cats. Okay, this way. Cat Hotel with flags from around the world. I hereby declare my cat hotel for open. Here you go, Sir Meows a lot. Kitty Perry, Fluffy Pants, oh ho ho, and Bob.
Hans, do you have a cat at home? Yeah, I've got a big fat cat. She's called Barbecue. Yeah? Good. Let's make a house for it. A tiger cat house. But first, let's make a work drawing. Close up and glue the cardboard flaps before you start working on the box. Now, let's draw. Imagine a square cardboard house which looks like a cat. We'll need a cat face at the front, eyes, nose, mouth, ears on top, a window with curtains on the side, a tail at the back, and stripes all over the body. First, we move the drawing onto the box one side at a time. Let's start by drawing a face on the front of the box. Eyes. Nose. Pupils. And a big open mouth. Two big teeth. Some ears on the top. And on the sides, draw some thick hair. Now, let's draw a big window along one side. With curtains, of course. On the back of the box, draw a tail hanging slightly to the right. Now, get a marker pen and go over all the lines. It's good to draw with a pencil to start with. Then, it doesn't matter if you get something wrong. Only when you're completely happy with your pencil drawing, use your marker pen to make the lines thick and strong. Try to find a waterproof marker, so the lines don't dissolve when painting the box. in bright colors. Go for it with a big thick paintbrush and white paint so you can cover the whole box as quickly as possible. Don't worry about painting over the marker pen lines. These will show through the paint when it's dry and we can touch them up again later. The white is what we call a primer, so the other colors painted on top look even better. Now for some pink. Use this on the curtains to make a homely and cozy feeling for the cat house. Let's get rid of that box and replace it with this one, which has dried. It looks almost like a ghost cat, white all over. So let's fix that with some more paint. I'm mixing a dash of red into this yellow paint to get a sharp and strong orange color. Paint that on the sides, but be sure to leave a stripe of white along the bottom. Tigers usually have a white tummy. Let's move on to the face of the tiger. Here you can see why I painted the box white first. It really makes other colors look stronger and clearer. 
cold swap to a deeper orange and add a new layer of color higher up on the body. Now we have three colors. White at the bottom, a yellowy orange and a stronger orange. Using different colors like this gives a stronger and more fun effect. When that paint has dried a bit, it's time for the tiger's black stripes. These are fun to paint, because every tiger has to have cool stripes all over. I'm making them a bit uneven. It adds more life and soul. Straight lines are a bit boring, aren't they? And here's a fully painted and dry tiger. Oh, ho, ho, isn't it great? The last step is to get your marker pen again and freshen up any lines you've covered up with paint. This improves the contrast no end. Yeah, your tiger is painted. Now we have a wonderful boxed cat that we can play with. But if you want to go advanced, we continue with... Cat! Then we are ready to cut the house open so that we can get in. Can you be sure to cut an extra, extra, extra large hole? <laughs> Get some help from a grown-up for this bit. Start by cutting carefully around the tail. Then cut out the mouth and remove the cardboard. Next, cut around the ears and fold them upwards. Cut out the window and remove the cardboard. Finally, fold out the tail. As you fold out the parts, the tiger really starts coming to life. First, the ears. Then the tail, which you can bend up a bit more. The mouth and the side window are already open, so all that's left is for your cat to move in. All right, we'll see it one more time. Draw the tiger on the box one bit at a time. First with a pencil, then with a marker pen. Next, paint the white primer layer. Then pink curtains. And then two layers of orange paint. Finish up with black tiger stripes. Finally, cut, fold and open up the house, ready for your cat to move in. You can also turn the cat house into a cat castle. First, remove the top of the tiger house. Then, extend the house with several other large boxes. Make ceilings, doors, windows and bridges. Paint the whole thing in bright colors and your cat will live like a princess. Okay, box. Do you have any more ideas for us? Sure thing! You can use the same method to make other pet houses, such as this mouse maze, with lots of rooms and doors. Or how about this? A birdie hotel, made from loads of boxes, with a roof on top, and pencils for the birds to stand on. this rat run, put together with a couple of boxes, plastic windows and as many toilet rolls as you can find. Sorted!
Easy. Pizza delivery. Hello, anybody home? Hello, pizza. Well, looks like nobody there. Better eat it myself then. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> there are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. <laughs>